tonight. Uh, I want to thank Vicki very, very much because uh, Vicki is all about excellence. And I knew that she would do us proud, and she has, as always. Thank you, Vicki, so much. Um, In my experience, every wonderful woman has a wonderful man standing behind her in support. So, Rafi, thank you so much. I want to thank Julie Kirkpatrick, who's the director in Gallery Bergen, uh, at the end of her pregnancy, helping us uh, tirelessly in, uh, in putting on this exhibition and working with Vicki. Uh, I want to thank Tom LaPointe and David Eichenholz, who are the, uh, the spearheads of our Center for Peace, Justice, Reconciliation, and the steering committee, of whom a lot of you are here tonight. And I thank you very, very much for taking our vision and making it a reality. Uh, Tom DePrenda, who is in our PR office, who produces all the beautiful invitations, posters, and all the, the PR that comes out of this school. Uh, and Jose Adamas, who couldn't be with us tonight, but he's the president of the college. He and Bonnie have uh, been unbelievable supporters of everything we've wanted to do at the center. They've given us direction, they've given us help, they have put together a team uh, from the top, uh, and they support us in everything we do. Without that, uh, we wouldn't be here. I feel, as an Armenian American, that we've found a home here at Barton Community. And in that home, we are learning and teaching and exploring not only um, our darkest days, the genocide, but also very important, our light and our culture and our history and our music. And I think that's very important to do both. When Vicki and I talked about the exhibition, um, we talked about how we didn't want it to be only sad. We want to show people that we have risen. And William Soroyan's quote, is that's the reason that we've, we've uh, printed those posters so you can take them with you and share them with people because the message is, yes, we have been through uh, atrocity, but we have risen from that. And that's, I hope, what you see in this artwork. Um, if we do not take a look and learn about what we have lived and the atrocities and the darkness, uh, we can uh, we can't be sure that they won't be repeated. And that's what we're about at the center. We want to learn about uh, the Armenian genocide, the first genocide, but also about the genocides that have come Darfur, Cambodia, and teach these students, which we have 17,000 students in our community, uh, what it means to try to get along, try to find justice. Uh, we have a home here. And I hope that I can look to all of you to support us now that we do have a home. We have a lot of things we want to do. Uh, I hope that you'll pick up uh, a guide to Genocide Awareness Week, which is um, right before the 26th when Peter Balakin will close the exhibition with his talk. I hope you'll all join us that night. But uh, there are a lot of other things on that uh, schedule that uh, we invite you to join us to do. So I will, be, I will be in touch with many of you to, to hopefully garner your support so that we can continue to do the work that we have so much support in doing. Thank you very much for joining us. And finally, I'd like to introduce our curator, uh, Vicki Havanesian. I'm sure that you can see, uh, based on the quality of the work on the walls tonight, uh, that she is a preeminent curator, uh, perhaps one of the, the most uh, successful curators of contemporary Armenian art in the world today. So, Vicky, thank you. Archbishop Khajak Barsamyan, Archbishop Ojagan Choloyan, His Excellency Ambassador to the United Nations, Mr. and Mrs. Garel Nazarian, County Executive Kathy Donovan, Vice President of Bergen Community College, Bani Mcdougall, 
a surprise guest, Michael Haram, and dear friends. First and foremost, I'm grateful to Bergen Community College and the Center for Peace, Justice, and Reconciliation, especially to Dr. David Akenholz and Professor Tom Point for their invaluable support. The generosity of Trustee Zeta Nazarian Albrecht in her sponsorship, vision, her trust in me for doing this exhibition is inestimable. My deepest thanks are also due to Director of Gallery Bergen, Julie Kirkpatrick, designer Tom de Prenda, architect Sevan Tekian, Professor Rafi Andranik Sarkisian for his incisive essay. I also want to congratulate the artists, some of whom are here, and they have come from far away places, Chicago and other places. Thank you, thank you for your support. Ornamenting the past, Armenians have always looked forward and have risen above the tragedy and have achieved tremendous success through artistic and various other endeavors. During the mid-80s, while I was building a collection of works with my husband of international stature, including works by de Kooning and Warhol, I fell in love with non-mainstream art I discovered while visiting Yerevan, Armenia in 1994. This compelled me to decide to nurture emerging Armenian artists by encouraging them to continue exploring contemporary directions as well as address their national social issues. Through ongoing exhibitions in Yerevan, Chicago, New York, my sole, my sole purpose has been to promote their art internationally, and this exhibition demonstrates the power of their works. They are equal to any international famous artist. If there is one word that sums up my intentions of this exhibition, that would be William Soroyan's posters that have been presented to you as audience participation installation art. As you leave, I leave, I invite you to make a poster, to take a poster with you home. Saroyan's words echo, quote, send them to the desert, burn their homes and churches, then see if they will not laugh, sing, and pray again. For when two of them meet anywhere in the world, see if they will not create a new Armenia. This project has been a labor of love and has shown to me the power of determined unity of the entire community, including all organizations. I would like to extend a tremendous amount of thanks to promote this exhibition to Tekian Cultural Association, Hamaskain Cultural Association, Knights of Bartan, Armenian National Committee of New Jersey, Armenia Fund, the Evangelical, Evangelical Friends, the Renaissance Group, Armenian Student Association of New York, the Hovnanian School, the Holy Martyrs Armenian Day School, all the Armenian churches headed by the diocese and the prelacy, and many, many individual friends. Last but not least, the Armenian Radio Hour, Arzagan TV and Voice of Armenians TV. A big thank you to you. I would like to finish my words on a personal level. My favorite quote by my father, a prominent Armenian historian, writer and poet, the late Sisak Hagop who survived the genocide, Quote, one of the most fascinating virtues of an Armenian is his diamond-like quality of indestructibility, end of quote. The power of these artworks is testimony to the indestructibility and the exhibition proof of our reconstruct, reconstructed identity. Thank you for your wholehearted support and attendance. Thank you.
it is my distinct, distinct honor to invite to you uh, our ambassador that represents our country to the United Nations, somebody, a couple to whom every time I look, I say I'm proud to be an Armenian and belong to the country of Armenia. Mr. Mr. Nazarian represents us at the United Nations. Ambassador, Your Excellency, Ambassador Gary Nazarian.
Thank you.